Hi everybody, welcome to the Artist Fun Studio. Uh, this is my first live stream and I'm kicking it off uh, celebrating Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. I'm going to be doing a centerpiece that would be really fun to do for your dad. You can make it uh, uh, golf, fishing, which is what my dad loves, fishing. And uh, you could do anything, any kind of sport that they love, even their favorite like football team, doing colors. And it'd be real neat to use if you have like a little Father's Day uh, celebration, a dinner or a cookout. You can sit it out on the table with all the little other, you know, side dishes. So we're going to get started. I wanted to know real quick, uh, if anybody hears my air going, let me know. I'm in Florida. It's hot. I can always turn it down, turn it off. So I'm going to start clearing the table off now. I got this big, beautiful piece of driftwood here. I got that from a yard sale. I can't believe I came across that pond. It's so super cool. So I'm gonna sit there, get it out of the way. Start setting up my table. This is the base for my centerpiece, and I will put a link where to uh, for the video to how to do this base. I use it for most of my centerpieces as a start. So I'm going to take this off. I was doing a display for a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm gonna take these little jokers off. They were just sitting up here. And I'm going to explain each and everything that I use. Let's see. Let's see if I sit this right here for a second. This is uh, two pieces of driftwood, which I nailed together. And I did it so that you have like a little tunnel there so I can slide it onto the pole. I thought that was okay. Keely, Mike, Mike and Missy got hitched. Said hi. Oh, hey. <laughs> and I got all, I got most of this from the Dollar Tree. All these items. And some of it's left over from other projects that I did, like these pieces of wood that would have been thrown out. I think they're really cool, they're real lightweight. And of course, I got some tall grass. And got these willows. Fern. Just everything you would see when you're out fishing among the uh, cypress trees. And I've got a bunch of uh, like leftover pieces that I found um, that this moss that grows onto the trees. And I explained in another video of how I do this. I actually collect this off the sticks and I give it a bath in a hydro, um, hydroponic um, solution with a uh, peroxide and water solution, I guess is what it is. And then I lay it out and let it dry really good. So then that way it's nice and kind of sterile. So move everything over, get my board ready. This is gonna be fun. All right. So I picked up some potpourri and I thought that's really cool because if you go fishing and you see in the bottom of the um, water where the water settled over by the bank, you always see like little pieces of like, you know, the, like the floor where leaves have settled. I need to learn all the technical names, substrate flooring. I don't know. <laughs> But I thought it'd be neat to add a few pieces in the base to make it look like it's part underwater. So I got that and I collected all these fun leaves from the yard. Some are oak, different types of oak. Move this all over here. Linda Franklin's here too. She said hi. Hi. And I got this ring. It's one of those rings where you spread it apart and put it together. It's like a trick ring from um, the Dollar Tree. I'm going to use that to make my lures look like they're swimming around the centerpiece. 
That would be a neat idea. And I got some old lures, and to make it safe, I did this before I got on, because it, one, it's time consuming. You want to see her and see me glue each little hook. But you want to make sure you put a little glue on the hooks, and then that way the, the fishing lure can be used afterwards again. You can just peel that off. Um, and also, it's about nearly impossible to get them off. You have to sit there and cut them. <laughs> and uh, I just didn't want no accidents on my first live stream. <laughs> I sit here with a fish hook stuck in my hand. But that's what I did to make those safe so that they won't hurt anybody. I got several old fishing lures here. They're really, really cool. Set those all up here. I got a couple of the fly. And then, of course, like some more moss. Some cool rocks. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use these, but I just picked them up anyway because I like the color. And then I made this for my father when he, when I was a little girl. I think I was about seven or eight years old. And he gave it back to me just recently. He was giving me a bunch of old photos when he was clearing up, and I asked for some. And he gave me this one. I made this for him in my uh, Uncle Cliff's workshop, my great Uncle Cliff. And I put the photo on there. So I'm going to be using that. And another neat item from the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree. Is it just about that? And I have a little cat toy. I took the cat toy off of it and I'm going to use the pole and I'm going to use it to maybe hold the like little fishing toolbox up. There's another little decoration. We'll see as it goes along if I do use all these items or not. And then I've got Happy Father's Day in little letters. I don't know if you can see that, but you know, clean this off and get started. First, we're going to start with our base right here. And now what I wanted to do was I wanted to make it look like the bottom of the, of the, of the pond where you're fishing. Restraining. And I wanted to use driftwood, and as I just explained just a minute ago, I had nailed these two pieces together, but I left it where you could slide. Hold on. And that's just to help it stay on, like so. <laughs> and what you can do is you position it the way you want. I wanted to do the fishing pole, which I think should be next because it's the main part. And I wanted to lean it against there, like so, like, let's see if that looks good. Might play with it a little bit here. Just give me a second. I think that's good, like that. There we go. Maybe that one. So you just sit here and play with it until you figure out what, because once you get this set, everything else just follows. I think I like that better. I think I'll put it right. I think that looks good like that. Yes, see, found it. Oh. <laughs> I like it like that. So now I'm gonna attach it. And then I'm going to use some fishing wire to attach it. You can use anything you want, but that's what I'm just going to use because it's, you can see there, you don't see it. I'm going to tie it on really, really good. And this fishing pole right here that I'm using is my very first fishing pole from money when I was a child. My dad surprised me when he came up and brought those photos to me. He brought this fishing pole and he said, I got something for you. And I couldn't believe he's been holding on to it all these years. Of course, it's all frozen up and it's not working anymore, but and it's kind of fragile, but I thought that was just so cool. I can't believe my dad did that. 
kept my very first fishing pole. Missy said that's nice, and you're doing good for your first live, live stream. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> All right. That is on there good. If you wanted to make it permanent, you can uh, put glue. But I think that's good enough. It's not going to go nowhere. And once again, you can see I put little dabs of glue on the hooks so it's safe. Won't swing around, take an eye out. <laughs> All right. So I think the next thing I would like to work on is maybe maybe go ahead and put some of the foliage. So I know I got some ferns here. I got some tall grass. So cattails. Cattails. <laughs> <laughs> so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start working on that part. I'm going to build that up because, you know what? Let's do this first. This is, then we, we can take that and work it around. Let's go ahead and hang some of these lures up. With this metal wiring, with this, like, chain, I went ahead and started cutting it and just playing with it to see how it would work. And you just stick it in, like in a piece of wood anywhere, like this. And then I was thinking of gluing the lower to it. Or maybe drilling the hole. I haven't quite figured that out yet. <laughs> Let's see. I think that'll be good about that. So we'll put one right there. See if I can do these real quick. I might not use all of them, because I, I, you know, but that'll be good. That'll be real good. Put some glue here. Let us sit for a second. Now, this isn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be, but you bend it one way. And you bend it back the other and it just breaks that simple that easy and like i said the real challenge is getting it attached to this because if you attach it these are weighted a certain way so if you attach it this way it'll hang down this way so i gotta figure that out so i'll probably yeah i think what i'm gonna do is drill a little hole stick the little metal piece down into the hole and put some hot glue and that'll hold it and then the game's on. <laughs> we could do anything with it after that. So that's one piece there. Let's see. Oh man, look, I got a crawdaddy. Yeah, that looks sharp. <laughs> I might have to use this after I'm done. Go out fishing. That one's light. This one's really cool. This is really old. And my dad also gave me some fishing lures that he's had for a long time that I think one is very special that was even his father's so I'm getting Mr. Mike over here to I need a tiny or a smaller drill bit please Mike's going to be putting the drill together for me and handing it to me we get another few pieces here ready so I don't have to sit here Thank you. Like I said, it's a lot harder than I thought. You want to do this for me? Yep, just pop them over here. I'll catch you. Sure. There you go. Thank you. Get the drill here. You might can even use one that's a little smaller than this, but I think that's about the size we need because of the width of the um, wire here. I'm going to do this big joker first. And I'm going to do it right at the tip of his head right there. We'll see how this goes. Get all the fingers out of the way. There we go. That was easy. Yeah, see? Now... I could just do 
glue there. So let's see what happens when we do this. Experiment. Put some glue down in here. And we'll stick this in there, in the hole, with the glue. Let's see. Let's sit there for a second. Now we're going to do another one. <laughs> Thank you. Did you do some wires for me? There? Okay. Thank you. You do, do like maybe two more just to be sure. I'm not going to hang all of them out. I'm just going to do a few and then a few I'm going to lay around. But this one right here, I don't want to drill it because like I said, this was sentimental. This was for my father and this was his father's. So I'm just going to lay this one on there. Let's see. This guy. Oh, this one's really cool. Get that drill bit. Do this a couple more times. Watch the fingers. I'm going to go this way. So <laughs> that way if I slip. I want this guy to really swim out, so I'm going to use that one. Put glue in the hole that I drilled. Put this in there. Let it sit. I love hot glue. It doesn't take no time for it to set up. And you can continue doing what you're doing. Let's see. Oh, he's cool. Well, man, I, it's really cool. Let's see if I can get him. I'm going to move him around this way. I don't know if I'm going to do that to him. Yeah, I'm not going to put a hole in him. He's, he's awfully little. This guy I am. Uh, I left him on the bottom. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> One more time. Watch the fingers. That one was easy. Really easy. Just blue in the hole. Let's see. Let me do another one. I like this one. It was really cool. Just simply put this. There. Let it sit up again. So now these I'm not going to do that. I think I'll use it around the lock. There we go. Yeah, that's really cool. All right. Now while those are setting up, you can decide where I'm going to put them, but I am going to do the sign. I bought this frame with, a, I guess, like a picture, and I like the wood frame of it, the shape, which is like the sign, and I want to put it up on top of here. It'll go down lower once I get it on there, but uh, about like right there, and I wanted it to say Keith's Fishing Hole. That's my dad's name, Keith. I thought you could put anything you want on it, but I like that. That's what I'm going to put on it. So what I was going to do was I hadn't decided if I wanted to take some of the leftover wood pieces that I have from other projects. This is like a veneer wood. It's really cool. It's got it's sticky. And just stick it on top like that. See? And then I can just get a marker and just, you know, write whatever I want on here or paint. Um, another idea I had too was just to take this off completely, which is what I think I'm, I want to do. Let's see if I can get this. Tools, tools. Some of my tools are missing. Aha. Yes. Over on each side, I have 
peg board on this side with all my tools and everything I need hanging up all organized and on this side is where all my paints hang up. You can't see it because they're hidden. <laughs> Trying to make it look nice. But I take the hanger off. Save that. You never know when you need one. And this is just stapled on so I'm just going to take it all off. But what I wanted to do was I was just going to leave this on but I think I like having the frame hollow so it looks like something that was hand and yeah. <laughs> thank you yeah I got in a knife fight with the potatoes last night and lost I have a little cuts that was not a very nice potato so my hands are real sore today <laughs> But it's got me out of uh, got me out of doing dishes. <laughs> so, all right. But what I'm do is I'm gonna put the sign together real quick, and I want it to look like um, like you would see out of the fishing hole, where someone just took a piece of wood and the board and just slapped it together and wrote on it with a marker. You know, nothing fancy, just fun. So, um, like so I'm gonna put keys fishing hole. Now let's hang that up. Right. Let's see, I think this spot dry now. So if there's little places in the driftwood and I was thinking of like pushing down in there and gluing it. And we'll see how this holds up. This is my first time doing something like this. So especially with weight like this. So I'm do this one up higher. I think that's what I'll do. That's better. That's better. And you know what too? It would help if you you could uh see I put the old glue in there and I've stuck it in there. What would help too is if you needed a piece to kind of wedge it in there. Get a piece of wood here. Just put down in that hole. That'll help it stay in there. Give it. There we go. Oh man. This is so cool. Check it out. It's fishing by. <laughs> I like that. Okay. I'm in there really good. And now we got another one to do. This one. If yeah. just play around with it. Another thing you probably could do too is to actually attach it to the wood itself. Oh, yeah. Evil I don't even think I need any glue, but I'm going to go ahead and give it just a little dot just to make sure everybody holds together. One more. One more. Missy. You know, <laughs> I can't get over that frog. Missy said it's not fancy. One of those. Missy said not fancy always works. Very nice. And uh, Linda says it's looking lively. <laughs> You're a kitty kitty. This is like a cat toy. Or you have a cat toy too, don't you? <laughs> this one is actually, I think this one's my favorite one. I'm going to put that one put it kind of low. Right there. You know, I want that one kind of low, but there's no little crevice or hole. So what I'm going to do is get the drill and very carefully and gently just hold it to it and drill in, but don't really put much pressure because you want to actually push. So I'm going to go like right here. 
nice having a helper usually I do all this and I get it ready so all I have to do is just explain what I'm using and then put it together instead of prepping and it's really nice there. Okay. so I'm gonna bend it up a little bit to make it like really stick out just a little bit there we go like that I'm gonna straighten this back out See how that looks. I think so. I think that's good. I want it to look like it's like gonna go swim up. And you know, if, if it doesn't work out, the hole ain't gonna hurt because you're not gonna see it. It'll just look like a natural hole drill from like a little bug. Um, you can always like if you want to just change your mind, you want it moved up a little further, which is what I think is happening to me now. <laughs> I'm notorious for changing my mind, so I'm going to do it right there. Let's try that. Yeah, feel free to go down. Down. Okay. There we go again. I'm going to bend a little down. There we go. There. Okay, that's what I want. That, yes, okay. Put some glue just to keep it there. Might even put a piece of the wooden dowel in there or skewer a stick. I think I will. I think I will. Yes, I will. Just a little piece. There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Now let's do the foliage. Do all that little. Do that. All right. We don't want to get too carried away, but I probably will. These I got at the Dollar Tree, and I really don't care for the color much. I was thinking of painting them brown, but I didn't do that. But so you have that option, you know. Just get some regular craft brown craft paint and just paint it real quick. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave these. Let's see. I want these to be, you know what? Again, let's do the sign. <laughs> okay, he took the uh, picture off for me. So now I just have this frame. And what I'm going to need is to drill a hole in the center, but just on one side. In the center don't drill them all the way through because then that way when you stick it down on the pole it'll just sit on there and that'll help support it i don't have a drill bit that big I, he doesn't have a drill bit that big so another thing i'm gonna do this okay let's see if i find a cat and here's the pole that I was using for the from the cat toy as well. And I'm going to put a little hole in here and go ahead and get this set up and, and drying. It's just a neat little box that I picked up at the Dollar Tree, and it looks like the taco box. I'm going to get my razor blade. I can find it. Yes. Could you use a razor blade to put a little hole? Well, oh, right in the center, right here. Just keep going through. These things are just so easy. Just simply twist, punch, ta da! <laughs> what I'm going to do now is open up the center. You know what? I don't have to use this, I can just use. 
piece of wood on here. I'll just do that. Yeah. Save this for another project. <laughs> All right. So to get this to stay stable, I'm going to put glue right here on the top and just set it down on there and hold it down for a second and put a little glue on the inside here. Okay. And you can you can make it a little crooked if you want front, but I'm gonna do it straight. So a little glue, glue all around. Stick it on just like that. And just let it jump and put your look at Voila. Oops. <laughs> Voila. Now, what I wanted to do for this is I wanted to actually put the Happy Father's Day little letters on this. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to lay this down. Go ahead and put those on. Um, I just could put just a just a touch of blue. Dab of glue because you you don't need much to put on there. I'm just gonna put a, just a just a little dab and just put it on there real quick. Put the glue on this and put catnip in the box. <laughs> that glue stuck to me. <laughs> when that happens when are they going to invent some glue that doesn't do that okay let's see this one's tricky oh this is going to be cute i got these letters from mike's board they were left over. They were too tiny. So that's where I got these letters from. So instead of just throwing them away, I saved them for an art project. And that's what I do. I'm a little bit of a pack rat. And I just, you know, get things and save them like that. But if you're wondering where I got the letters, that's what they're from. That's what they're from. And I also, real quick, highlighted them with uh, a silver marker. So that they would look like metal instead of just a little white. These, but the white would have been nice too. Would have been nice. Okay, this right. It's not cooperating. That's okay. There we go. There we go. And you could do this nice and, 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 you know, make sure you have it nice and straight and neat. Or you can have fun with it, just to make it comical like what I'm doing right now. I'm going to put the day right here just for the fun of it. So, you know, if that bothers you, do it however you like. Um, some children like that. My oldest son is like that. He would have a fit. He would like, Mom, straighten that out. But mother, some of us said, oh, I like that. So everybody's different. Yeah. Let's see. Get this one on there. That's gonna be fun. 
Put the little dot. There we go. Now I just got to get rid of all these little webs. <laughs> Clean it up that way. Get them off my finger. And then we'll get to on that sign that I keep trying to get to. Show you real quick. Happy Father's Day. And guess what I'm going to do now? <laughs> I'm going to take one of these fly push and actually glue the metal part of the hook to the box. Give it a little fun. There we go. Is it moving? No moving. Stay. <laughs> So that's really cool. There we go. Now that's ready, and I'm going to put, be putting that in here. Please see, go down. So I want it small. So I'm going to end up cutting this probably about a good four, maybe five inches off. Because I don't want it to overpower the sign that I'm going to be doing up here. I want it to be down here somewhere. So we'll figure that out. Let's not cut it yet. That. We'll figure out now the sign. <laughs> All right, I got these leftover pieces. A couple of these pretty much match. They're just a little bit longer than the others. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it and cut it right there. This is really wonderful material. Um, like I said, it's like a real thin, like veneer kind of wood, but um, sticky pad on the back. It's really used for putting on the back of the wall to give that wall look of wood. And we had a job like that recently. So I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to score it like this. I know where to get it. Yeah. That's good. I got it. I'm cool. No. <laughs> See, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> right. Get my heavy duty scissors here. Trim it up a little bit. And there we go. And you just take the sticker off. And that's how it goes together. But there's, say, there's the thickness of the pole. So when you put it together, there's going to be a little bit of a gap there. And you want to be able to have a little bit of security in the center. So you're going to take some thicker pieces and put it together. Let's see if I can find it. I don't see it. That's okay. But this will should stick will go right onto the hall. So if I can find it. I'm trying to think what I can use. I'll use a little pieces of wood. Well, I got little pieces of foam here. That can work too. that together. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut a few little pieces of the foam off. Just like you're slicing bread. A loaf of bread. If I could use a bigger knife. <laughs> which I usually do have, but some of my tools have walked off. <laughs> so what I usually use is a paint scraper. Get this on here. Uh, there we go. That'll be good enough. I'm going to take that and have that. That works. That'll do it. Oh, I just found 
never mind. Scratch that. As I said, I'm famous for changing my mind. These little wood pieces here. I wish I could use that. It'd be a lot nicer. All right. Put the sign on the pole. I'm going to peel all the sticky stuff off here. So to help hold it on. Are you going to write on it? Huh? You going to write on it? Yeah, I do need to write on it, Don. Thank you for reminding me. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on here like that. And then I'm going to double it. And then I'm going to flip it over and write on it. Because if I flip it over right now, it will stick to my board because it's, it's like sticky backing. So let's see, I do that. Put this one on. And that. There, that's nice. That's really nice. Score these two too. And use these. Like I said, I usually, when I'm scoring things, I usually use my paint scraper just because it's safe. <laughs> when you score things, you can score your finger. Add one more. Just one more to layer it off. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Now here's your fun sign, and I like I said, I'm going to put Key's Fishing Hole on it. I'm just going to use a permanent marker. I was going to use a paint, like a paintbrush to paint it on, but I think I'm just going to use a marker. I think that would be fine. Because, you know, that's what we do when we're fishing with marks. So, yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Let's see. There we go. Just like that. Like I said, I want to keep it kind of comical. You can do it with a paintbrush if you want to get a little more detailed and fun with it. Now, dry. <laughs> Make sure it's dry. I'm nervous. I don't want it on my board. All right. I got a piece of cardboard here. I'm just going to lay this down again. I want to check for the thickness. This is how thick my pole is. Is it? So, it's that one. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking for the thickness. This is a piece of pole from another project and I'm going to lay it down and just see Oh yeah, needs one more, and that'll be good. All right. All right, so to put the wood on, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the pole. Just a little bit of glue on the pole on both sides, like so just for a little extra measure. Make sure I got this the right way up. And decide where how you want sign. I want the sign a little off centered like this. I don't want it perfect facing straight. I'm gonna tilt it just a little bit like that, just a little. And now add the other end. Put lots of glue on it. And just pour this over. Yeah, like that. And then you can even put something on the other side too. 
It could be the same thing that's on the front. I think. Gone. Fishing. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's cool. <laughs> All right. Got fish. That'll be the back. Okay. Now, the sign, you can have fun with that. You can just stress it, make it look older by rubbing some, like, brown paint on it just to make it look dirty, which would be fun. Because it's kind of new looking right now, you know? Like that. There we go. And then I like maybe take some of this moss and I'm going to drape it on it a little bit. Just get a little bit out there. Oh, this is going to be messy. <laughs> just get a little bit like this and just kind of like let it hang down on there a little bit like maybe not as much but just a little bit hang down on there like that get that all look good okay so pull the glue that's where the sticks are just careful not to burn you, but this is a low temperature gun, but it's still, it's not fun. Linda said looking good. Huh? Linda said looking good. Thank you. <laughs> so do like that. Maybe put a little, let's see, let's put a little on here. Let's put a little moss maybe. That guy's trying to grow on the sign here. That's what we'll do. I have several different kinds of moss that I use. This one likes to grow on rotten man made materials naturally. So that's really cool. You just place it wherever you like to put it. Strings. Let's see. All right. There's the sign. Remember the back's neglected. Put a little piece on the back here real quick. Then it looks like it's growing. Hello, that. So now that is on there. Finally got the sign. I guess we can start decorating. And again, I haven't figured out what I want to do with this piece yet. So I'm going to play with it real quick and see if that should go on next. And then fill it in. Thank you. Right there like that. So, okay. I figured out where I want it. <laughs> so I'm going to cut some off. I'm kind of guessing at it here. Uh oh, I didn't glue the top on. Do that real quick. There we go. 
ya. Alhamdulillah. Let's see. Where to put it? So it looks like, yes, right there. Stab it in. Might reinforce it with something. is backwards. That's the back. Put this back on. Like this. Huh? Yeah. I try to decide if that's where I want it or not. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm trying to decide. So I'm just going to play with it real quick. Let's see where I want that. Just looks really cool. I think that's where I want it, right there. Yeah, I'm going to put it right there. Definitely. Right there. So I'm going to use a skewer stick. I like resting right there. My mic, Mike's being my critic. <laughs> Usually I'm here by myself. See how that looks. Yeah. Put that in there. Like so. Oh, I like that. It's going to look really, really cool. Let's see if I get it down far enough. I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut a little bit more off. But that's where I'm going to put it. That's going to look really, really good. Take just a little bit more off. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to sit it up there. Situated. See how that looks. Might look good. Still not sure about it. <laughs> I'm thinking it might look good. We'll save this and wait just a second. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Yeah. There we go. That's good. Here we go. Found a happy place for it. Let me take it back. Add a little bit just to make sure. I think I like it like that. That's good. And I'm going to get some more glue sticks and secure it just to make sure. So lightweight, it just wants to. Well, that's my first time using the stick, the pole from a cat toy, and uh, it's a little on the flimsy side. So, lesson learned <laughs> stick to using wooden dowel. <laughs> Thought I could be clever. So, only if the Dollar Tree can carry wooden dials. Maybe some of them do. I don't know. I know they carry uh, skewer sticks, which is really helpful. So, this here. So. Let's 
see if I can get that to stick on there. And may have to do some maneuvering. Is there? Wait for the glue to dry. Next, what we're going to do now, we're going to be doing the foliage, putting all the grass in, all the natural sand. My favorite part is going to be filling in the base right when we're about done because we're going to have a light, bunch of little rocks and leaves, all those things. Let's see if I can let that go now. I'm just going to put one more dot just for good measure. Just for good measure. Get some of these glue sticks. This glue wraps on. All right, let's fill it in. Let's make it come alive. That's where the fun begins. Let's see, need some tall grass. Tall grass. You don't want to get too foo foo after all this for your dad. <laughs> Let's see. One more piece, maybe right here. And I might use a few little pieces of the fern, which you usually see by the water's edge sometimes. Tony from Viewed This. Is, huh? Tony from Viewed This is here and he said, hey, he says it's looking good. And your he said air conditioner's not all that bad. So I'm gonna bend this a little bit just to kind of make it so it's not so straight. Stick it in. Sorry, I'm over here looking, I'm not even showing you guys. So just make it see. So that's how it's looking straight up. I want it to look more natural. So I've bent it. Now I'll stick it in there. And I'll twist it around, see what I'm doing here. We need one long piece. I don't want that lower chair. So let's see. Put that one in the back here. Ooh. Gotta gotta keep in mind the back, which is what I did here. So you, it doesn't have to be perfect. What we're gonna do is we'll probably add something afterwards right here just to give it a little more character. But let's see right there. We're gonna put this air plant right here. A little glue on the bottom of it here, just stick it right there top of there. That way that kind of gives softens up that sharp cut edge that you wouldn't see naturally. And now we can go ahead and maybe add some more moss. So this is just like the final touches feet, um, touches right here now that we're doing. Let's see. That wouldn't be naturally on there. Yeah, just a little texture, little pieces. And this is actually fun to collect with your kids, you know, to collect all these little moss pieces here. You can go send them out and tell them to go get some leaves. But that just, just makes it. You can get them where it still has the twig on it. That will just be like laying down there. 
It's a nice big piece there. Oh yeah. We'll put this one like over here. Stick it on like that. Just a little bit. Now the rocks. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rocks in. Because now we're doing all the bottom part and building up. The last thing I'm going to be putting on is the rest of the lures laying around. And I still haven't figured out where I'm going to put this line, but I'll probably put it right there. I haven't figured out yet. This last. So I got these rocks from the Dollar Tree in their garden section. I'm just going to, oh, that's loud. Sorry. But I'm going to fill it in with some of these first. And then I was thinking of uh, using some of this other rock. I'm not sure now. But I think that would be a little messy. <laughs> All right. So just fill it in with some rock. Put how much you think you need. It would be fun to use some sand, too. Oops, they do carry that, but you don't want sand getting in the food. These rocks won't go nowhere. So you got to keep that in mind. Whatever you use, if you use this as a centerpiece. Okay, I'm going to get the potpourri. Potpourri. Move over, Mr. Rock. Good, buddy. I'm fixing to cut this bag open. It's refusing to come. Like I said, my poor little fingers. That potato salad I made was delicious, by the way. All right, I'm going to just pour some of this out right here. See what we got in here. Oh, yeah. See, I, I could see something like that just laying on the floor of the, of the river or pond. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're going to dress it up with some of this potpourri to kind of hide the base out right there. And maybe even use, like I said, I had went and gathered some leaves. See, and that's, that's kind of fun, you know, have a twig right here. So, let's fill it in. Hey. Oh, you know what, too? I can use blue and I don't know what I did with my, my little... I just recently got some new organized drawers. And I'm not used to being organized. <laughs> so I'm having to try to find everything all over again. And I guess I should have prepped <laughs> before I got on. But anyway, I have floral pens somewhere in the studio. And you can use floral pens to put a lot of this on. So I don't know. Mr. Mike, I can't find them. All right, so I'm just going to use some glue to kind of hold everything in place. But like I said, I like using floral pins for the bottom. There we go. I'll flip it around in just a second. I'm getting this front all in here. And like I said, the goal is is to try to hide the foam. Actually, I love doing this part because you can just try to do it natural as possible. Mm 
Yeah. Oh, this is, I like this. The engraved pair. Clean this up a little bit. Stay. Hold it there for a second. Sometimes it takes a little patience. So see how it's coming out so far? Now, what I think I need to do here I need to fill it in a little bit with the moss. So I'm going to take it and keep it kind of thick and just stick it all through in here, like so. Just stick it all in there. Hide. And if you have four pens, which mine are on vacation. Fill it in here a little bit. And don't worry about it. Stick it out everywhere and hang it out because you're going to come back with the scissors and trim it. Keely, the purple gang said looks looks awesome. Thank you. And I'm going to stick some moss right there. Oh, my flower pins. There we go. Let's see, I love these guys. Linda said it's wonderful. Just about got there. I'm going to put a little green moss for color right here. Give a little interest. Let's see? Some more leaves. Stick it around in here. Stick them in there. there we go. Let's see if we look around if there's any other places. About done here. So I like the little twig of leaves put together here by nature. I'm going to stick that in here. I'll just pull out a glue on the stem and stick it in there. I have to hold it for a second to get it to stay. But that's what you're doing. You just put some leaves in. Purple Gang said you forgot the beer. Huh? Purple Gang said you forgot the beer. Did I? Could <laughs> you use some beer now? Yeah. yeah, the cooler with the beer. 
I love fishing. I haven't been fishing in quite a while. Love it, love it. I want to try what uh, heavy metal magnet does, but I know I couldn't do it. <laughs> I know I couldn't throw a big bag in there and try to pull something out. That would be hilarious. It would pull me in. Now, the only thing I really, it's all covered. I'm going to get all these little, move this over here, get all these little webs off. Like I said, the little pieces, I'm going to take scissors and just trim it a little, clean it up. Anything got wild. I don't mind it hanging over a little bit. But if you're using this for a centerpiece, you don't want to get it in your food. go in the back it's just a little something right here really really needs a little something so what we're gonna do is we're going to lay a lure back there that's what we'll do and I want it a little high up so I'm thinking I guess use some one of my guys here I'm going to use a green, painted green one. Skewer stick to put them on. So it kind of blends in with the foliage. And I'm just going to glue them on there and stick them in there. That's what I'm going to do. It's going to be interesting. Try. So I'm going to sit here and hold it for a second. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a few more fishing lures around. I don't want to think that's about it. I have it all set. So I hope everybody's having a fun Father's Day, all you dads out there. I know it's all about food. Yummy, yummy food. Grilling. Grilling food. That's why I made my famous potato salad last night. Got all day. Let's that one. Let's see. Oh man, this crawdaddy is so super cool. Crawdaddy lure here. I think I'm going to just have him like hanging out somewhere on the bottom here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do right there. Right there. See if you can see that. Right here, I put them. These look cool. And I'm going to put picture frame me and my father right there I think so we're gonna do it with glue lots and lots of glue see if that holds it up I don't know if it will but we'll find out we're testing the glue enough glue needs more this is a job for gorilla glue <laughs> i love gorilla glue gosh it's good it's set up. yeah i love it so much you know what i'm gonna take it back off there we go take it back off i'm just gonna try and Second to dry. And just put some on the top. I think that's. I'm going to get me another glue stick. Put a little more glue. 
is trying. There we go, just at the top there. And I'm going to take my grandfather's lure and set it up there, like maybe up here somewhere. You know, like that. Just a little dot. Some of these lures, when they're old like that and sentimental, I'm afraid to use it. <laughs> because I've had it where I have tossed in a lure and been grilling it back in and a big fish will grab it and I must not have had it tied on to them tight enough and I'm gonna lose the whole lower. Like, ah. Keely Chef Dalian and Friends is here and Cambo 29X said wow that's amazing. Hey thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. It looks so right. abstract. So here's this guy I put on a skewer. Like I said, it needed something. There we go. A little something in the back right. there. I think it, we could use one more. I'm going to do it again, this time with a taller one. <coughs> Let it sit. I sit here and I try to twirl it to make it dry faster. That's what I think. I think I put this lure and I think that would be about done there. Looks really cool. Okay. Dry. Still got one more. This one's really cool. Right at top right here. All right, guys. I think I just about got it ready. Let's see if this is on there good. Still wait for it to dry. Can't wait to add this one. One of the things I wanted to start doing too is if taking requests on uh, different centerpieces, maybe something someone would like to meet to see uh, a theme or a movie, a story, anything to take it and make a centerpiece out of it. I would love that challenge. <laughs> I would take you up on it. I think the one, okay, that would really be challenging to me though is Game of Thrones because I never really watched it. I kind of know a little bit about it and heard people talk about it, but yeah, I just, you know, I like Vikings, but I just didn't ever watch it. Okay, let's see where I want to put this guy. I want this guy to be kind of in there. So, let's move the grass over. And the little, there we go. Just peeking through. <laughs> Chef Daniels said fantastic. Thank you. And carefully move all this over here, clean up later. All right. There we go. I got 
got this really cool display table. This rotating display table. Yeah, put it all the way back. Back towards you. There you go. Okay. Plug it up here. It's even got lights. Sit a piece on it. Oh, this is heavy with the rock. So it's definitely, if you use this for outdoor centerpiece, it is not going anywhere. No worries. The wind's not going to blow this over. It might not. It might not work with all those rocks. Yeah, it might not work. There it goes. Oh, it is. is that good? Duh. <laughs> this was so fun. Let me see if I can. And I'm, I'm, I'm really tickled how this came out and thank you all for like coming by this is my first live stream so i'm still a little nervous a little jittery and i'm gonna have to learn how to perfect all this but uh yeah this to my dad keith williamson's his name he's a really great guy he's a veteran and um that's one of my fondest memories with him, besides when I used to travel with him a lot when he would uh, he was a tire salesman, but we would go fishing. So I'm just really surprised that he had my very first fishing pole from walking up with it. So, and then that's very sentimental to me too, making that in my uncle's uh, workshop, that frame, putting my, me and my dad's John stuff. Yay. Purple Gang said it makes him feel like fishing now. For her. <laughs> Gang's awesome with the spinning. No worries. He's doing great line. So, but yeah, this would be something fun too to do with kids, you know. Let them have at it with our, make some things for their dad. Just make sure they don't go grabbing some lures out of their dad's tackle box that he might get a little upset about. <laughs> so, so, but thank you for watching. And uh, I'm going to be doing some more demonstrations like this on live stream. I'm even going to be doing some painting, like bulk art. And that's going to be really fun because I have my own patterns and designs of, like, cow people on that. So, hi, y'all have a great, happy Father's Day, and I'll catch you later. Bye. <laughs> Let me see if I can get all the way to the top.